Hi there, my name is Shana Strogovic and I'm a software engineer on the Hyper-V team in Azure. So great news, our team is hiring. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a little bit about what our team does, the job available and how to apply. This video is only going to cover junior level positions and not anything senior or above. So in order to understand what Hyper-V is, we first need to understand what Azure is and how it works. So Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing platform that offers over 200 products and services to help customers create, run, and manage applications. We offer services to industries in healthcare, government, retail, and manufacturing. But what really is Azure? If you think about it, Azure is just a set of servers in a set of server rooms that use virtualization technology. Virtualization technology is used across cloud providers in the industry and is essentially a way to bypass hardware constraints by allowing multiple operating systems to use the same hardware. So in this example, you can see that we have a physical piece of hardware, a server, with a middle manager called a hypervisor, and the hypervisor manages virtual machines or guest operating systems. Hyper-V is Microsoft's virtualization technology. So you don't need to know everything in this diagram, but it is a way for us to understand the kinds of questions that we ask ourselves every single day. So for example, how does each component in this diagram interact with each other? How can we ensure secure, reliable, scalable, and efficient technology? What happens when a new device becomes available? How do we make it possible for all of the child partitions to interact with it seamlessly? What happens if we need to do a firmware update or replace hardware all while providing services to our customers? So I'm gonna go a little bit into my personal experience with the job. What surprised me the most? Two things. The first was it really felt like I was taking an anatomy class. I spent a really long time learning all of the different components and it was honestly really fascinating and far beyond anything I learned in my undergraduate computer science degree. The second thing that surprised me and delighted me was how creative and passionate everybody is on the team. This team is comprised of people who are extremely passionate about operating systems, and I was very excited to join them. So if you find this really interesting and you think you wanna apply, what kinds of skills or interests are aligned with jobs on Hyper-V? So there are three main things we're looking for. One is experience with low level systems. So if you liked your operating systems class in college, or you find that you like coding in C or C++, this is definitely a job that you would want to apply for. The other thing we're looking for is kernel debugging experience. Do you like doing that low-level, step-by-step debugging into the inner workings of an operating system? And then the third thing we look for is a passion for systems. Do you find systems fascinating? Is this the type of work that you want to do day-to-day? -day? Then we want you. So what can you do if you wanna apply? First of all, look at the most up-to-date job requirements for the job postings that are linked to this video. Second of all, cite and highlight your C, C++ experience, your systems-related experience. And then third, we really wanna provide you the opportunity to share your passion for systems. And this can happen in an unconventional way that didn't come in the form of traditional work experience. So we have a couple of options to offer you. For example, a paper written while taking a systems class, a video of you presenting on a systems topic at a conference, links to open source contributions to a systems project, a link to a research paper that you read that you found interesting and an explanation on why you read it and what you learned about it, or something else. Every day on Hyper-V, we are thinking out of the box. So we encourage you to come up with your own way of expressing your passion for systems. All right. That's all for me, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the interview loop.